hello welcome to my youtube channel once again this morning um today i would just like to talk generally about what what my students have been really concerned about and this is more about um how to build a sales funnel actually what i really want to go into is before you're thinking of building a sales funnel or what is sales funnel all about you just need to understand the basics of all this once you understand the basics then you will not have any problem in understanding how to build a sales funnel what kind of sales funnels to build for yourself so now how to build the perfect sales funnel with nothing held back before i start i have a quick quick question one, the question is, if you were on a game show and were asked to draw the best representation of a business on a sheet of paper for a 50% chance to win $1 million just for participating, what would you draw? Absurd, isn't it? Play along anyway. Because it's important, you see, most people will draw some sort of building to to best represent a business on a sheet of paper perhaps they will draw an office building or a department store what would i draw my what i would draw is a sales funnels because sales funnels without it you even though you have a website without the sales funnels you can definitely not make sales because you need to take your customer through the funnel you understand the most accurate way to represent a real business on a sheet of paper today in this world today in this business world today on a sheet of paper <clears throat> is to draw out a simple sales funnel and that's it just a simple sales funnel your sales funnel is your business and what people the mistake that people think is oh, what is the sales funnel of a, of a team it is your main business understand now to start building your sales funnels you have to understand with crystal clear clarity what an offline marketing funnel looks like so you won't get distracted by the technology behind online funnels the most confusing and uh, least important part of a funnel is the technology behind it. Now, the offline funnel looks like this. Place a small ad in a magazine or newspaper, asking reader, readers to contact their company for a free report, which is mostly, you know, that that's most of the offline sales funnels. If you look at adverts in newspapers today, you will definitely see that's actually what this advert is saying. Either you see a call to action, you see a number there, or you see a website, or you are told to call, or you are so told to visit the website for more information. After each reader contacts the business, they receive a sales letter disguised as a freeway report selling a low-cost product often called a triple wire. A triple wire is just a, that's the beginning of a sales funnel. Do not forget, if your sales funnel doesn't con consist of a very less expensive product, then you might be losing that chances to bring people into your sales funnels because nobody wants to go into a website or wants to go into a funnel. And the first thing they were asked to pay is to pay or buy a product worth $1,000 or to buy a product worth $2,000. No way. So the first step in your sales funnels is to start with a very cheap price. And we are looking at the range from giving it out free to $30 or $40. Anything above that then you put people away from your sales funnels so next each buyer who purchase 
said locust product received that product along with another sales letter selling an even higher cost product and that's the way sales funnels work hard if you look at it hard free report low cost offer higher cost offer in other words sales funnels this made five sales funnels come in all different shapes and sizes but there is few core principle you need to learn to really grasp how they work knowing how the funnel knowing how offline marketing funnel looks isn't enough to understand it so if you think okay i know how offline marketing works i know how i can process all online marketing then that's just not enough for you and you need to fully understand the beast or you will make a mistake when you are in the red so mostly why people do not make money in their sales funnels today is because it's not well structured they do not understand it, how it looks like, how it goes. And that's the main reason I come to expand shit on this. That's why, I, that's why I'm all about talking in this video now. Just for you to have that basic. On day one of your marketing campaign and your real cash is online. Exactly. If you run an advert and you direct people to the wrong sales funnels, definitely you just be running advert and waste the money. So what do I mean when I say it? But knowing how it looks on a paper isn't just enough to fully understand it. You need to know how it feels to you because you are directing people to your, people to your sales funnel. And you need to know this because if you aren't prepared emotionally, you run the risk of giving up too early if you don't know what to expect in the field. Here is what to expect. Launching the offline marketing funnel or sales funnel for that matter feels like losing money on day one of the campaign so let me tell you the beginning of your sales funnels put it in mind it's not actually to make you money it is the back end the otos behind those sales funnels that will give you that cracking profit that cracking sales so do not worry if you are if you are you are you're setting up a sales funnel and the first thing you have to do is to sell something at a very low price or to give things away free the reason for it is to capture your leads capturing your leads you want to take them through a journey because that's quite important for you here is what i actually mean the most basic marketing funnel looks like this add free report low cost offer higher cost and therefore you get into profit the most basic market marketing funnel loses profit like this. Step one, place and hard, which is quite important. You will lose money. Free reports, when you give things away, definitely you'll be losing money because you use your own money. It's cost, you use, it costs expensive you use by giving someone something for free. So, but the low cost offer, when you now direct that customer or lead that you've captured to your OTO3 that's the low cost offer you are looking at breaking even and now once you get you've taken that customer to that step three after the customer have already purchased that step three you can end up taking you know the customer to another offer where you now make your big time profit and this is not something this has been tested this has been well researched so if you think you're not following the right sales funnels i'll tell you go back to the drawing board and re-plan redraw your sales funnels because if you feel you've been losing money i'll advise you you've not been making money and you have almost at the point of giving up that oh, this sales funnels is not working. People are not just coming out with a screw. They're not coming out with a secret of what sales funnels is all about. I will let you know today that in the first instance, a sales funnels doesn't make you profit until a single prospect sees your ad, requests your free copy, buys your first offer, and then buys your second offer and this entire process take time to complete 
So if someone, if not captured someone yet, they've not bought your second offer, then definitely you might not be looking into a sales funnel. For example, let's take for example here now. If you pay $1,000 for an hard placement in a popular niche magazine on the first of the month, it might take 30 days. Yes, 30 days for everyone, whoever goes to see your heart, to see the heart. Then it might take another three weeks for everyone, whoever is going to request your free copy, to request it after seeing your heart, which is true. It might take that long. So be patient, do not give up. Because people are busy, they like to procrastinate, and don't read magazines as soon as they buy them or don't even read a website or once they click on the website they don't want to read it some of them they, they just bookmark it so do not be put off with this next it might take another two weeks for everyone who requested your free copy who is ever going to buy your low cost offer to actually buy your offer? Yeah, it could take another two or three weeks for that. Lastly, it might take another two weeks for everyone who bought your low cost offer, whoever is going to buy your higher cost offer to actually buy your higher cost offer. If you have a sales funnel that is destined to produce 10K per month, you might have to run the funnel for three months. Yes, I'm not kidding. You don't think a sales funnel will just make you 10K in a, in a month. It, it, you have to run and test that funnel before you actually start to take in 10K a month. Sometimes it takes longer. So my advice to you today, if you have been running a sales funnel, be patient. Give it three months. Every sales funnel you are testing right now, give it that space of three months before looking into testing another sales funnel. It's quite very important. It makes sense, great. Now that you fully understand the most basic six funnel, you are ready. You are ready to build a sales funnel that will work with your business. Here is what to do. The first phase to building your funnel is planning it out on your paper as i said the first phase of it don't use microsoft word to do this don't use any form of technology to do this i know we are in the age where people have that technology right now but i would advise you not to do that at the moment all you just need to do now get a sheet of paper and start drawing it how do you want your sales funnels to look like and you have to draw your sales funnels based on your product or the services you offer to the public out there. How? And that is when you now start looking at the sales funnel. Go into your competitor's website. Look at how they've structured their sales funnel. I'll be going into that very soon in maybe in another, um, any of my website just check another article i've done ex uh, on how to spy on your competitor well, this will really help you out i'll be doing that video next time i assume you have picked a niche so now i'm making two assumptions now that if you are uh, have an online presence that means i assume you have picked a niche market i assume you already have one product to sell if you don't have a niche i advise you just uh, take a time to pause this video think about having a niche go choose a niche immediately if you are online don't be jumping one, from one niche to other get into one niche master that niche make sure that niche has started producing you money before going into another niche on the other hand if you don't have a product service to offer yet keep reading anyway now the first thing to planning out your sales funnel on paper is listing your entire entire product lineup on a sheet of paper as i said earlier if you are if you have already done this then give yourself a pat on the back you are ahead of the class 
Your product lineup will be the raw source material you will use to make a sales funnel. As I said, the products you're selling or the services you're offering online will help you to map out your sales funnel. Your product and services aren't rigid at all. They are fluid. So make sure you understand this. If you want to do well, you will need to get used to combing products together and tearing them apart into smaller chunks on a whim, which I said already. All of the time, you will spend a lot of time on this. Let me tell you, it is no brain work. It is no making money quickly. People who are making money these days, who are putting out that online presence, that, oh, they've made 20K per month. They, make, they are making in the six figure per month. Let me tell you, it was not made. They went through testing. They went through researches before they get to this level. So I will advise you that um, glimpse that make money in the next 50 seconds, let me tell you, it's not true. You have to work on that. You understand what I mean? So the next thing to do is to pick your funnel type. There are several types of funnels. You already know about the original funnel, offline one. However, instead of teaching you all the types of, right now, I'm going to show you a shortcut what taking you see if you go right to the left hand side to the scroll down to the bottom i have some free funnel i've made together so quite easy for you once i go you see these are free done for you funnels so if you feel it's very very hard for you you don't know what a funnel is all about you want to get started immediately I have some freedom for you funnels, which are the lead generation sales funnels, product launch funnel, high ticket converting funnel, membership continuity funnel, automated webinar funnel, service. If you are in the service accommodation business, I've got a funnel that you can use for that as well. So um, stay back. So that will even help you get started. That will help you know what a funnel looks like. It helps you to now map out your own funnel. You understand what I mean? So let's go back to what I was saying. Now. So for you to get into building your own funnel, yep, yeah, is, however, instead of teaching you, as, as I said, it is how I choose what initial funnel type to build before I begin speed testing. So the first thing, build your funnel, then you now start split testing your funnel. You know, you want to know which one works, which one is giving you that leads, which one is capturing that leads with it, which one is generating that sales for you. List your products and services. I like to list all of my products on one sheet of paper. So if you are in business, you, you are in a, I don't know what kind of product you're selling. I don't know what kind of services you're offering list them in a sheet of paper then for each product or services i like to follow the advice of the late gray halbert and create a fact sheet and a benefit sheet on all this for each product or services i know this takes time but let me tell you in the long run you will you will be marvelous you see what this will take you to you see the kind of profit you'll be generating the kind of sales you'll be generating the fact sheet lists all the hard facts about the product, while the benefit sheet takes each of the facts on the fact sheet and converts them to benefits. So if you understand all this, just follow this process I'm telling you, talking about now. I like doing this because it makes combing my product into new packages or tearing them apart into smaller components a little easier. So what I'm trying to tell you is that rather than giving your product selling it in the first end in all break them down make a product fact sheet on them and that will surely help you to get leads capture customer more i will often tear tear full product apart to create freebies to give away for lead attraction or to create bonuses I do that a lot and I will even show you better if you visit some of my member login issue 
at the top there my member login go to my blog site there are a lot of products i've given out to customers and what have i gotten in return that i've generated build my list as a result i've generated a lot of sales on a product i've been selling so don't think oh uh, you spend money on this creating this product and you're giving it away free that's fine because at the long run you will make the money back even far far way more than you you were thinking of making in the at the front end if you think of selling them so i will also often combine full products together to create premium offers which i do a lot when i create my products so to cut with that being said to cut the story short i don't want to take too much of your time on this if you feel you want to build your own funnel one of the best software guaranteed today to build the right type of funnel is by using a software called click funnels click funnels is one of the best software out there i use it this website i'm talking to you i'm scrolling down i build this on click funnels very easy no plugin is requested and if you need more of this feel free to contact me i'm a sales funnel architect and seo consultant and i'm sure i'll budget it so feel free to contact me feel free to share this if you like what you've just watched the video if you watch what you've listened feel free to share with your friend and um I'll be looking forward to to share some few more tips and tactics that you can use to generate seven figures online. So with that being said, do not forget to visit my website www.trendfunnelsuk.com and um, go to my blog, my members login. My members login is free and you see loads of freebies in there. I don't want to put all my freebies out. I intend putting them in my members login for those who, who wants to capture them. And but what I will tell you is that if you want to get started, look at the free done for you for else I have in here free free to use them if you click on them it should take you if you click on the one of them let's go into the automated webinar funnel it should show you something like this so yeah it will show you that and that's trend funnels you will see that i've been sharing this login with you so it's nothing um of any but for you to use this funnel, for you to get it, you just need to register yourself, get a free 14-day trial for click funnels. It's not just the 14 days, you don't need to, this is just for you to test it, you understand? All my funnels, free funnels are built, they are in click funnels. And for you to get that click, for you to get that opportunity, you just need to register and for you to be able to use all those funnels and look at them it contains the auto webinar the webinar countdown webinar broadcast room for those people who are in the webinar section this is all free in there and i also have the lead generation funnel which when i going to have the lead generation funnel and and so on so um with that being said um i'll be looking forward to share more tactics and businesses with you on my next video so thank you for taking the time to watch this and i will see you on my next video thank you bye